All right, guys, so it's your man Jay, and it's time to give you a camera review. The way I like to do it is to use the device. So this is the OnePlus Nord N10 5G. Yeah, I got that right. So the OnePlus Nord, uh, this latest version that they have, um, you know, OnePlus has always bragged about their cameras at some point or another, uh, and I've always put them through the test, and I've never really been happy with the footage. In the end, it hasn't been the greatest footage, I'll say. Uh, but actually, as I look through the viewfinder with this, um, as I look through the viewfinder with this particular front camera, by the way, uh, I think this is dope. I think this, it appears to be really solid quality. Uh, they have what's called Smart Auto HDR on their cameras. Uh, and uh, we're just going to put this to the test right now. So I took a bunch of photos. Well, not a bunch. And this won't be a long video either. So I took some photos and uh, I'm going to show them to you now. Then I'll close out the video with the rear camera. But in fact, folks, this is the front camera. This phone costs 299 bucks, 285 bucks if you get it with the link in the description below through wirelessplace.com. But you make your own decision where you want to get it from. T-Mobile sells it. OnePlus sells it, obviously. And wirelessplace.com sells it. And a ton of other places probably sell it. But um, use the link down below if that's what you want to do. Uh, but this is the front camera. It seems like it's going to be really impressive overall. So let's show you some of the camera, uh, some of the photos that I've taken, and then we'll come back and close out the video with the rear camera. <laughs> All right, guys, there it is. You saw the, the front camera to open the video. You saw the photos that I took earlier today. And now we're closing out with the rear camera. So what do we think about this phone so far? I think personally, this phone has performed better in the camera department than some of the older versions uh, or the more expensive versions of the OnePlus devices. This is really impressive to say the least. I'm, I'm, I'm almost shocked that I'm getting this kind of quality with the audio and the video. I, I'm, I'm impressed with it. So I want to know what you think, though. You tell me what you think about this quality from this device that costs less than 300 bucks. You've got to be impressed at some point or another in this video, whether it's with the photos, especially the front camera. I was way more impressed with the front camera than I thought I would be. So, I mean, I leave it up to you to decide. But me personally, I think the OnePlus, this OnePlus Nord N, N1, N105 G, I keep saying the long name, and I really don't have to. The N10, the Nord N10, actually has some really good cameras. And I can't believe I'm saying that, but I gotta be fair. And I think that these cameras definitely deserve a second look. If you were considering not considering this device because the, you think the cameras will be bad, I say you should give it a shot. What do you think about the quality? You can decide from here. And this is just one setting. Imagine how it would be outside or, you know, and so on, because outside every phone can look good. It can really shine outside. But you tell me what you think about this quality. And I'm out.